Mr. Speaker, can the, can the minister just uh, explain, you know, because of the, uh, the politics that uh, it's going around Papua New Guinea and, of course, with the opposition uh, trying to cancel the APEC meeting in 2018, can the minister, you know, uh, lighten up uh, you know, this house and uh, the people of uh, this country regarding the APEC meeting? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think it's uh, absolutely deplorable that the Leader of Opposition can say that we should cancel the APEC conference in 2018. Our, our APEC will be one of the most cost-effective in the history of APEC. The Kinner amount I mentioned this week is not the overall APEC budget, but includes costs that are part of the normal government operations. Our police and military will work on APEC that many of, the, many of their normal costs are part of the recurrent expenditure. The real cost of APEC meetings is closer to $120 million, uh, to host all the meetings. These APEC meetings are crucial for our nation, national economic advancement. And we have most of our infrastructure already in place. That's why we can afford to spend $120 million on hosting all these different meetings, over 200 meetings, to the lead-up of the Leaders' Summit in 2018. We already have the uh, International Convention Centre, which is a gift from the Chinese government, which will be utilised. APEC House will be utilised for the two major meetings. We also have the brand new Hilton Hotel being built for the main convention and uh, hosting the welcome dinner. The infrastructure in our country is here. We do not need to build any more infrastructure. We utilise what we have, which will cut costs and make APEC 2018 a success for Papua New Guinea and for all the world to see. Thank you.